Congratulations. Thank you. I wanted to ask you how you felt about doing the father-son story in Crete, and was it therapeutic at all in the loss of your son, Sage? Oh, that's a very heavy question. Uh, to be frank, anytime you can vent emotions that are real, I think it's very, very helpful. And most importantly, I just wanted to respect his memory, and, and I think we did, so it was, it was good. It was good. Hi, over here. Congratulations on your win. Um, my you. question is just how did it feel to win and to get that standing ovation when they announced your name? I didn't expect it at all, and I don't remember the standing ovation. I was in shock. Is it really? You're kidding. So I have to get a TiVo. <laughs> I, I did not expect to win at all. So I was promising myself that I would be very aware the whole time. It proves I'm not aware. So I got very caught up in emotion. Thank you very much. Um, just the, the mere fact that these incredible people were applauding, it makes me realize that, you know, in life, it's really never over until it's over, and it, it indicates that people should never give up trying. So I think it was a very, very positive message for everybody. Hi, uh, I'm from The Great Reporter. Uh, do you think that the majority of the newer movies are made more about commercial success and less about art? Hmm. Artists will always be there. It's just that they don't have as many outlets. It's very, very difficult to get a film that's extremely personal in a commercial venue and get more than 100 theaters. For example, if I wrote Rocky today, it most likely would not be made. And if it did, it would be on 25 screens. That's the dilemma. Artists want to be artistic, and companies have to support the bottom line, they have to make money. So here's the big conflict today, and, and you know, it, it's just, it, it's gonna be difficult, but as long as the studios are making money, which is good, there'll always be a film industry for the young artists. Um, 